So in today's video, we're going to cover the installation of the Open Manage integration for Microsoft Windows Admin Center uh, installed from the NuGet feed inside of Windows Admin Center. Things you will need is going to be a Windows 10 or Windows Server with internet connectivity uh, to install the Windows Admin Center gateway. Uh, that system will need a browser such as Edge or Chrome as the Windows Admin Center does not support Internet Explorer as well as a Dell PowerEdge server to manage. So with that said, uh, we'll go ahead and start the download for Windows Admin Center. And we're gonna go ahead and pause the video while we skip through to download. All right, and our download is completed. We'll go ahead and launch the installer. All right, and our installation is complete. Uh, once this is finished, uh, we can go ahead and browse to the local host, uh, and it will take us to the Windows Admin Center gateway. So inside of Windows Admin Center, uh, we have the ability to add our managed targets, either being the cluster or the host name of the Windows operating system. Uh, Windows Admin Center uh, allows us to manage Windows Server 2019, 2016, 2012 R2, 2012, 2008 R2, as well as Windows 10 and others through the Windows Admin Center gateway. It does this through remote PowerShell as well as WMI over the Windows Remote Management Protocol. Uh, so the first thing, once we get in here, uh, we want to go ahead and view the version. And we can do this over here where we can see we're on 1910 as well as the build numbers. Um, if we view the release notes for um, the Open Manage uh, integration for Windows Admin Center, um, we can check the compatibility as to which versions of Windows Admin Center is supported. And here we can see that the Windows Admin Center support is good for 1904, 1904.1, as well as 1910 GA releases, which is what we're on. So we're good there. Now, in order to add an extension through the NuGet packages, we'll go to Settings and Extensions. And since we haven't already installed the Dell uh, integration, uh, it'll be listed under Available Extensions. And here we can see uh, the latest package on NuGet is 1.0.1. We can go ahead and install the extension by clicking the Install option and monitor the progress in the top right. Now we have successfully installed the Dell Open Manage integration for Windows Admin Center extension into Windows Admin Center. The next step is to connect to our remote target to manage. For this, we're gonna add a connection to our Windows cluster.
Now, when we connect to our cluster or a server, uh, in order to use the open managed integration for Windows Admin Center, we need to ensure that we select the manage as and provide credentials, administrative credentials uh, for the remote system. Once we've set the manage as, we'll go ahead and click the hyperlink to connect. All right, now we're connected to our cluster and we can see uh, on the left-hand side under extensions, we have the Dell EMC open manage integration. When we select this option, uh, it will go out after we accept the ULO. <laughs> it will go out and collect the information from the target systems. We'll go ahead and pause the video here until the information is loaded. All right, and once it's completed, you can see that we'll have the uh, Dell specific health status available for different rollup statuses for CPU, memory, storage, rollup information, and others, as well as hardware inventory. We also have the ability to see the uh, target system's iDRAC IP address as well as its firmware. And we also can integrate with Dell Repository Manager uh, to run firmware compliance against a baseline catalog. Uh, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.